So I'm about to go to the grocery store. It's about a 30 minute drive from here. Um, it is not a Wally world. So I just wanted to share what I do when I'm outside of a Walmart area when I buy groceries. I do a lot of homework behind the scenes before I actually go so I can save money. Our closest Walmart is about an hour and a half from here. We may go one time um, while we're here in this area, but when we know we're going to a location that's outside of the Walmart area, um, when I do go to Walmart, I stock up. Sometimes it's even hard to um, store the things like paper towels and toilet paper, but you're going to save so much money at Walmart versus the smaller, way out of the way grocery stores. But I do need fresh food before I go to Walmart. So I was just going to give y'all um, a little heads up of kind of what I do um, before I actually go to the store. I do write a list and I don't normally buy things that are not on my list. And I stick to sales. So I look at the ads. Um, this one I just have. I looked at it prior to going um, to the store. I looked at the ads online. And ads come out every Wednesday. And um, you look for the, the lost leaders. And you look for um, things that are on sale that you normally eat. But I don't, you know, I don't buy things that are not on sale when I go into these little stores. So um, I write my list down and then I go to the website. I go to, let me show you. So this is the store that's closest to us, <clears throat> Lowe's Supermarket. And I'm familiar with this store. I had one that, in my sticks and bricks. So, um, didn't shop there very much, but I always looked at their ads, and if they had something really great on sale, I would go and buy that. I look at the ads, and I buy per what's on the ad. Um, not if, you know, I don't buy everything, but I'm just saying if, if this is on sale this week, you know, I might eat pork loins for the week. <clears throat> Um, so when you're looking at the ads, this is two thirty nine a pound, but you got to look at the fine print. This is three pounds or more. Um, I don't have any freezer room right now. I don't really need any meats or anything like that. So I'm not going to, um, probably buy that if it really looks good. Um, I may have to borrow some freezer room from Deborah. <laughs> anyway, also, um, these days they have what's called digital coupon here's a digital coupon and if you wanted this this product and you wanted to use that coupon then you need to download the app and you'll clip the coupon in the app and then when you check out if you're a member of that store you can use your um, telephone number or there's a qr code that they can scan and it will put all your um, coupons in Anyway, read the fine print. 74 cents when you buy four. So, got to make sure that you um, are reading the fine print too. So, here's another one. 90 cent, 99 cents. So, um, if you're interested in any of this, um, here's some shampoo. Can't get shampoo for cheaper than that. So, um, ketchup. Ketchup. Dijon mustard. Yellow mustard relish getting ready for memorial day so that's another um good time to buy foods um, hot dogs and things like that is during memorial day chips and stuff like that on the memorial day sales um here is some sausage uh or smokies little smokies that's on my list because deborah likes little smokies for breakfast so i'll be picking that up and then you go to the next page, and on and on, y'all get get it. Oh, bean dip, 
that did not make my list until <laughs> today because we were playing games last night. We wanted a little dip. And it was like, oh, I need to get that bean dip. <laughs> and this bread here. I mean, it's $1.59. That's pretty cheap. I, I don't need bread. I don't eat very much bread. So that is not on my list. But just um, yogurt, 39 cents. That's a good deal. Anyway, and then what else I do is I do need other products that are not for sale. One of them is olive oil. So it's on my main list, but it's probably not going to be a very good price here. So I can't really remember what the price is at Walmart. So I jump over here to Walmart and I say, oh, this is what I would buy. $6.44. So on my list here, I have olive oil for, and then I write it down, how much? Six forty-four for 17 ounce. And I do that for some of the, the fresh veggies too. Like, um, if I, I'm always needing Roma tomatoes, and I can't remember how much those are either. Of course, everything's changing so fast prices can't keep up with them so they're 21 cents or 98 cents a pound so i'll write that down on my list and if they're really close in price then i'll go ahead and buy them here at lowe's but if not then i'll wait um i've got some canned tomatoes that can replace that but Anyway, I just wanted to share how I go about buying groceries, um, mostly food products, when I'm not near a Walmart and won't be for weeks on end. Mm -hmm.